Welcome to Brahma Kumari's deliciously divine kitchen cooking class. In Brahma Kumari's, we have vegetarian dishes, and today, especially, we're going to make a dinner item. And this dinner is with white basmati rice with mixed vegetable curry, and it is delicious. My favorite item. So I'm going to show you what we need to make this vegetable curry. So for vegetable, you can use any vegetable you like, but uh, especially for when you're making curry, these are the vegetable I they like. Here to. I have a white golden potatoes, chopped, cut up in a small pieces. Then I have a red green bell pepper very tasty. With that I have a green bell pepper. Each bell pepper has a different color and different taste. This red one has a sweetness. This one is very tangy and very good tasty with uh, green bell pepper. Here I have a cut up cauliflower and they are all about same size um, you notice. Here I have a tomatoes cut up same size tomato and all this vegetable. This is my favorite herb. This is curry leaves and we use this a lot in Indian cooking. With this, the seasoning I am going to use and I am going to show you each one. Here I have a fresh cut up cilantro. For garnish, I like a cashew nuts, especially in this curry. It gives a rich flavor. I have a grated ginger and chopped very small chopped chili, green chili. And chili is not very hot. You can use high, hot, if you like it spicy, you can use hot chili. This is a very low medium chili, not very much heat in it. I like to use lemon too, little lemon juice at the final, at the end of the, um, when the dish is ready, when curry is ready, I like to use just a little lemon juice and cilantro for garnish. I use butter instead of oil for this recipe. Butter makes it rich and tasty curry. Now uh, spices, I'm going to introduce the spices that I'm going to use in this curry. Here I have a cumin. You can buy all these spices in Indian grocery store and now they are available in uh, local supermarket, Publix, all the stores. So here I have a cumin and they are like a small brown seeds. I am going to use this in butter on the stove. Here I have a garam masala. In curry, it is very important to use this masala. It is like a curry powder with garam masala. What this is, is a mixture of several spices like cinnamon, coriander, black pepper and um, cumin and they are all toasted on a stove and grind it like a powder. So it looks like this. Then here I have a black pepper for a little heat and taste. Here I have a fennel creek seed. It has its own different flavor and I like that taste in a curry. And here I have a ground coriander, simply plain ground coriander. So I am going to use a little bit of all this masala in this curry. Okay. I have a non-stick pot here and I am putting um, butter in the pot. Then I am going to use all this cumin that I have and it is one tablespoonful. Cumin gives a very good flavor, okay. So cumin is in, in hot butter. Then I am going to put this chili, green chili for heat. And with that I am going to put all this ginger that I have. And you just saute it in this pan good idea. Okay. 
I'm going to use this potato. You just saute it a little bit, let it get toast. And then I'm going to put potato. First I put potato because it takes a little longer time to cook. You mix it. And then I'm going to use the green bell pepper and red bell pepper in the same pot. I'm going to use one curry leaves in here and you just take the leaves off like that very simple and you just put the leaves in here. Beautiful color at this point now I'm going to put this all these um, spices in here first I will put coriander and then a little bit black pepper not too much because remember we have a chili inside so you don't want to make it hot. I am going to put one teaspoonful of garam, garam masala, little more I like it tasty and then fennel creek seed. Mix it all up a little salt, turn the heat down a little bit and let it steam the vegetable. I'm going to use one tablespoonful of salt and then mix it and let it steam and cook potato. It will take about 10 minutes. At the end you have all the vegetable you can see what's in your curry and the last one is tomato. So at this point I'm going to put half a cup of water and then turn up the heat a little bit, mix it beautiful color cover it and let it cook. After 10 minutes when vegetable is done I like to put tomatoes at the very end so I'm going to add tomatoes. So all vegetable, all the seasoning, all the spices are in and you're just going to mix this and let the tomato cook for not too much only two minutes. Cover it up, let it cook two minutes, our vegetable curry is ready after that, two minutes. You can see each and every vegetable you can recognize what's in the main, what's in this curry. So you just put vegetable all around, it smells so good, I wish you can smell. I've I hope we can have a television that you can smell but you can see it looks so pretty and each and every vegetable this is my personal taste I, I have to see what I'm eating so here you can recognize each and every vegetable they're cooked and they look so pretty even when you serve it to someone I like this dish enjoy you and your family enjoy and come on over for dinner. Rice, 